film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so she is. sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's I... bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Hey, bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. All this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does.
Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. So much hypocrite. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. You should believe it. She almost jumped because you and everybody here bullied her. What? You're like blaming me? As a matter of fact, yes. Then just get out of here. Like, stop fucking with me. I've got my own family shit to deal with. I'm done for the day. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Where did she go? My lips are like sealed. Or Victoria will seal them for me. No doubt. See you later. Thanks. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. 
Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Max? Come here. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. I was lucky. That's all. No, girl. That was not luck. You made a choice to save her. Like a superhero. Then maybe it's time to catch the bad guys. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. This is both sad and pathetic. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I feel so... giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around.
nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my My grandpa's garage. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Nothing but tools. Nothing here. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves, so who does? Nothing here. The most magical insects burn bright. Principal uh, Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. That smart son of a bitch has me trapped. Blackwell almost lost another student. Wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. Uh, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe?
Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Ninja strikes again. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. <sighs> Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. Then your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well... It affect the Everyday Heroes contest. It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. 
And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Scrolls like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Dead end. Nothing here. Boring. Crap. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. 
Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. This is like a scene in a horror film. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. You can never escape the lighthouse here. The tape is mine. Only three more items to go. Way home, Max. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. formal and smell. Ooh, sugar. Only one more ingredient. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. I never said they were great, troll. Everybody's asleep. 
I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, Fish Fish. Thanks, Fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. No, this mixture doth not work. Here's the sodium chloride box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. At least switch to e-cigs. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Ooh, literally. Yes, time to blow shit up. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department! Uh, so what should we do? Open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet, 
and in the wrong place. Only two more files to go. Look at this pile. Look at this pile. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Let's tumble weeds. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this, but there's not much here about the police investigation. I think we found everything. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference.
You're not so tacky up close. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa. Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super, Max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich, and nobody busted us. So? Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you.
We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Go, otters. Boys or girls? Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I guess I should consider this evolution. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. Sometimes. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? touching Zach's jersey. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? This must be for training kids. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Some poor hipster lost their vape. Dude, it's getting old. Try and dazzle me with another trick. Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls? Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Flippers in a swimming pool? 
Are they training Navy frogmen? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Where does that other sock go? Those are some musty-ass old shirts. Yuck. I hope so, friend. Well, we care, dickhead. Sorry, Rachel. just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Chloe just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. There has to be a control panel for the lights. Or in case I run out of air, I know where to come. Baby Halloween pumpkin. So the big plan is win. Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Yes, we get it. Otters. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh yeah, baby, feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie.
Um, stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun, 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Ew. I don't want any Blackwell bros over me. There's a couple cute guys there, but... They probably think I'm a total nerd. Uh, nerds are hot. You just don't have any confidence yet. Unfortunately, that didn't come with my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Move, Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. Make sure you cover the whole room. Are you shitting me? Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hello? Hello? Anybody there?
Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. You're so invisible. Let's bail. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car!
Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. I keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their lights off. But Julie knows a party at some actor's west side law. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Man, if I had stayed hidden, David wouldn't be targeting me. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves... Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe... Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. At least we haven't been identified yet. Feel it when we kiss. So many men stronger than me have thrown their backs out trying to live. Yeah. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. As Blackwell proves, boys are trouble. And way fucking gross. As you'll discover soon enough. Oh, okay, woman of the world. Please tell me what it's like to get that first magic kiss. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to get you all worked up. I just don't think anybody is good enough for you. Besides me. Ugh. Oh, so still reeks like a chlorine factory. Bad. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion house. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Oh my Max, God. you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, 
damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl-on-girl -girl action. You're such a dork. Oh, man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra? Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. Amazing. It's like when we were kids here. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. It feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. For everybody else in the neighborhood, it's just another morning. Be famous for this. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. I should evolve and become a vegan, but, oh, bacon. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, 
It's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? What? Uh, no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. And when you took the rap for that joint, you proved it. Thanks. But it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Who drinks beer this early around here? Oh, jeez, can you help me get this bird out of here? Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. I wonder how these birds died. This might be the one time these people are right. David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call <sighs> soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Message deleted. Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit.
Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. I guess nobody waters the plant here.
I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try Stepdad for the password. Worst hacker ever. Naturally, David would buy. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Nothing in it. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn?
Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Such wrong. No way, Max. Come on. Magic 8-Ball says, no. No way, Max. You totally flat off. Oh, shit balls. No way. I took off. Try again. No, that's the top. Worst hacker. No, that's the top. Nope. No, that's the top. Such wrong. No way, I still stop. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. I could try the license number for the password. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Naturally, David would buy- I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Joyce might as well have wrote that might be a useful password. Yep, locked up. I can't enter any password. Shit. Yep, locked up. I can't enter any password. Shit. Score! Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But 
Why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped. I better tell Chloe about this now. Whoa, spoiler. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I should know that Chloe can't get through an hour without creating drama. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble?
You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. More nasty shit.
morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, the tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Good morning. Don't ask. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or even Nathan. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look! Max Amber! Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch! Lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal! I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Cole. Rachel! I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel... I doubt... Like... Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. 
idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Rach Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Thanks. I'm glad. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. There she is. Thank I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but... He's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. There she is. Thanks, Alf. I'm glad you... I... And you... Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. There she... 
Thanks, Af. I'm glad. I get. And you for helping her. That's the. I feel. Not for long. He's eager to be a dick. That's. There she is. Thanks, Af. I'm glad. Do you think our kid? I'd take a normal. Rachel. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. <sighs> but that doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. <coughs> My work here is done here, Frank. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. Are you shitting me? I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back.
Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is... I think the doggy likes his bone more. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download porn. Yuck. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <sighs> Recycle. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. How can somebody live like this? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? That's a pretty extreme lighter. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop. Is Frank going to deal online now? That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. No more secrets. Ooh, Frank's stash. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Of course Frank gets the munchies. This is almost as good as a set of keys. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. No prize here. Max, you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. I'm seriously ignoring you. Curses! Nothing here! My blade will open any portal. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. 
Hmm. Trouble in paradise. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah blah blah, as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here, alive, with me, and that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me, and Rachel needs you.
Oh my God, what is happening now? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. might just allow this one into the family album. No. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Daddy. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crickets. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat breakfast. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. Man. I remember Chloe reading this, but not after today. It's true. So how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. I am when your mom is away. What a mess we made. I'll let her know that. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast. Oh, yeah. Morning. I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. I know they never took that big vacation. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many... I am when your mom is away. Uh, Mr. Price, in case you're thinking about using your car, I heard there's awful traffic and road construction, so you shouldn't drive at all. Max, you are the road warrior. I promise, if I have to go anywhere, I'll drive like I'm taking a test. Fair enough? Not really. I just know the roads are bad and stuff, so... so you... Since you're obviously my personal GPS, I feel safer already. So don't look so worried, Max. Listen, don't let your dad take his car today. I know it sounds weird, but please believe me. Something terrible happened. happen. You have to stop him from driving anywhere. Whatever, weirdo. What kind of thing is that to say about my dad? I'm not joking. Then you stop him, Supermax.
Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Joyce loves William so much. Sorry, wrong number. Max, come on, you know better than that. Hello? Hey, honey. Disconnected. Yes, here's the two whales number. Now I can warn Joyce. Hey, honey. I, I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two. Hi, could I please talk to Joyce Price? Oh, she left? Damn. Uh, are you sure? Okay, sorry. Thanks. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. Obvious, no but it will have to do. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. You ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. I get to take score. Fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me!
Max, this is not the best time for a prank. Keys, please. Uh, I was just, um, are you sure Joyce is ready? Uh, let's just, let's just wait. I, um, sorry. Here. I'll get you back someday. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That. Now I get to take a. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Really wet and cold every day. But Never, like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. I know, sorry, Mad Is Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? No, Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no. 
This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. <laughs> 